hey y'all welcome back to another video please remember to like and if you're new here subscribe now as y'all know jada and trey are no longer cool and so people saw that naya and trey are back around each other and y'all know they were together now people also have been going at naya a lot she was also on live and she did go off after people were saying that she stole trey from jada but i don't know i don't know, if I don't know what to do with y'all like I don't know. I be a little worried sometimes. Kiss my eat my booty. Up. Stop talking about you. Don't. Oh yeah. Don't come in my. Don't come in my life with that negativity. Eat my. Sh That's all I gotta say. To it. I ain't clearing up nothing. So I just eat ass. Like I don't got nothing else to say. <laughs> And so I do want to hear reviews when it comes on to that down in the comment section below. Now, if you had watched my previous video, Lexis had left a comment under a video with Nadia talking about Ori. And so she had said that her money is on Ori. Now, Nadia did respond to Lexis. She left a comment saying, You got a whole baby to worry about. Get off my B-word. I done forgot about you. Now, Lexis then said, This dumb B-word said I'm pregnant. I can't. No, I gotta be the one who beat this B word up. Hashtag Team Ori. And so I do wanna know what y'all think when it comes on to this down in the comment section below. Now, people also had some things to say. They were leaving comments that said, I mean, Lexis didn't lie. I think we all got money on Ori and S. And we ain't never seen Nadia fight for real unless she jumping somebody. So laughing my A word off. Who knows? Someone also said, Nadia did dot that fade from Alexi that one time, no shade. And so I do want to know what y'all think when it comes on to that down in the comment section below. Now, as y'all know, Nadia and Ori is currently at it. People also felt like Nadia is not a girl's girl, as her and Ori is just at it. And people noticed that she's around Tati. And if y'all didn't know Tati and Ori were close, over they had gone into it real bad and fell out. And so I do want to know what y'all think about Nadia being a brown tatty. Let me hear her views. Now yesterday Nadia dropped a new YouTube video in which she was spilling some tea and exposing Ori. She spoke about her catching Ori with the door locked with one of her vibes twice and that she felt it was weird. And that Ori had a number of excuses when she was caught. And that basically she peeped that she was weird from then. Now she also went off and said this. But it's like, don't contradict yourself. Don't try to put me out on the internet trying to make it seem like I'm doing all this stuff and I'm just weird and I'm a bad person when you've been doing the same stuff as well. Because you sure was going to do a sit down with one of your ex-former friends that got on live and said your personal, personal, personal business when I was into it. But you was going to sit down and have a, have a YouTube video talking about why y'all fell out and all this other stuff because you knew it was business. But when I do it, I'm hurting you. I'm confused. I'm just confused on how that works. And so y'all let me hear reviews when it comes on to that. Now, Marge was also on live with Ori as well as Nadia. And a lot was said. Thank you so much. Nadia, let me be real, baby. I feel like this new Nadia ain't it. This old Nadia may be, because I personally feel like you used Oreo when you needed her at, during your moment. But now that you don't need her no more, you excluded her from out the picture. Now it's just like, okay, let me just act like I'm the... When honestly, in all actuality, y'all was the big three. Yuki right. and Oreo was definitely the big three. Y'all mm -hmm. was just holding hands, skipping down the yellow brick road when Wuda was all up in Oreo face and you was defending her every chance you can get couches now y'all acting like y'all just not the sister wives and best friends and just that in the third y'all was just doing the content with your brother at your crib you invited her all the way to your house in dallas i'm confused on when this friendship just got thrown out the window like this now also let me be real ida you know she just came into the picture when i just seen this friendship but let's keep it a buck the same girl that saying that's just your friend and she just was the part of the three that's cool said and done, but where was the same energy at when them girls was ganging up on you on that couch in that Influence the City reunion? Because I'm pretty sure if Oreo was there, she would have said it. I would have been on team about five, you. Six, seven. About? It could have just been a one-on-one. -on -one. I'm just not understanding. <laughs> like always, I, I'm just confused. Always. And also, I'm going to keep it a buck. I don't give a fuck. It's what? I'm going to keep it real. I don't care. Y'all are the same ones that include Ida to everything. I don't want to be included in everything. <laughs> Let's keep it a buck. We're not going to keep doing this. Wherever the numbers is at, Ida's right behind them. Oreo's been there from the very beginning where the numbers was low, high, medium, medium. 
We don't care about the numbers over here, Pookie Butt. Now, I do want to know what y'all think when it comes on to this and everything else said in this video down in the comment section below. Please also leave a like, subscribe, and turn on your post notification bell so that whenever I upload, you are notified.